This is one of those two-parters that I wish wasn't a two-parter, because anytime you're running a race, you want to be leading the pack. And this one, we're coming up from behind. It all started when Aaron decided to run his Falcon in the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. This is the oldest and the tallest hill climb in all the world. They started the first one in 1916, and there's no other course like it. Anyways, in his first two test runs, the Falcon just didn't do so well. You're leaking fluids big time. Yeah, I figure out where it's coming from. So we brought it back here to the shop to fix it up like pronto, and then headed right back out to Colorado just a few days ago to continue testing his car. Good luck. Don't go off the cliff. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to drive the pace car or pace truck all the way up to the mountain and kick the whole shebang off on race day. Only problem is the race is just three days away, and we're not even close to finishing it yet. And I'm not going to drive some half-baked truck up that mountain, because we've shown you a few times just what can go wrong. Oh. So it was time to have a talk with my boys. It's a elbows, and if y'all get it done, we'll go. If not, we'll back out gracefully. With my master mechanic away, the rest of the guys are just going to have to make this happen. That's almost as scary as the mountain. So with the C10, Richard has given me a deadline. We got 72 hours to get this truck up to Pikes Peak. Aaron's already there running his test trials. The truck has to be there. So at this point, we're crazy. We've got a list a mile long, it seems. You know, we got to bleed the brakes still. We got to install the reservoir still. Still got to finish the wiring, get it hard lined in. That's time consuming. The guys and I have been up all night trying to get through the list. Man, I'm beat. But to be honest with you, we are all running on fumes right now. Everybody's on a different part of the truck, trying to run around, get things done productively without tripping over one another. Each day goes by, and you feel like you didn't get very far on the list, just more and more pressure in. You know, right now, it looks pretty dire. Um, all right, what's going on? I mean, this truck doesn't look any different than the last time I saw it. And why is the front clip not on? Because we got to figure out the uh, power steering and uh, alternator issue. Oh, it doesn't fit, huh? Because the cage is right there. So anyone in my business knows that even in the best of situations, a problem is going to pop up that'll cost you a few days. The problem is, we don't have a few days. I'm trying to get John to give me a mini gen alternator here, since we're not running that much electronics. I'll build a bracket for Well, adjustment. what kind of time am I looking at? I mean, that could be two or three hours, even if you get it right, right out of the chute. Yeah. Well, we won't have it today either way, so. Yeah, we can't put it on right now anyways. Anyways, that's, that's where we're at on that. I don't know. Y'all just uh, figure out the best solution. I told you, what I tell you earlier, a problem will present itself. Problem. Yeah. <laughs>